Hello class of 2020. Congratulations on completing your first semester of high school. I know in a lot of ways it can be the most difficult semester of high school. While it's not going to get necessarily any easier for you, we know the transition from 8th grade to 9th grade is one of the most difficult. You're coming to the largest school that you've ever been a part of and attending the most classes that you've ever taken at the same time. So congratulations for getting this far. We know that if you can make it through that first semester, you have what it takes to graduate from high school. Today what we are going to be talking about is the course registration process for 2017 and 2018. I know that it seems very early to be thinking about that, but the scheduling process is very long with a lot of steps and starts with you uh, picking the courses that you would like to take and need to take um, and then from there uh, we as a school staff then start to do the process of building what's called the master schedule which is uh, what classes we'll be giving, um, what periods they will be and who will be teaching them. Um, so the first step for you though is to complete what's called the course registration worksheet. Um, in your class you should be receiving something uh, like this, it might not be yellow, um, but it is a registration worksheet that shows the required classes that you need to take as a sophomore and also some of the elective classes that you need to take as a sophomore. Um, the very first step is to think about the core classes that you'll have to take. So as a sophomore next year you will still be required to take math, for most of you that's geometry, you will be required to take English and US history. In the fourth core class is a science class. Um, you will want to work with your biology teacher uh, currently to uh, figure out what course you want to take or need to take for your sophomore year. We have chemistry, physics, environmental science, just to name a few. The second thing that you'll need to do with this registration worksheet is decide if you want to take honors courses and work with that teacher to get approval. If you want to be in an honors class, you'll need to get a signature from your current teacher saying that you have what it takes to be in an honors course. So if you want to be in geometry honors next year, you'll need to get a signature from your current algebra teacher. Finally, on the back page, you'll want to look at some of the electives. If you look on the back page, you'll notice that some of the elective classes have different marks. They might have three asterisks, they might have a plus sign and at the bottom it shows you that those mean different things. Three asterisks next to a course means that uh, it has some approval required. You'll need to get a sign off. For instance, you can't just jump into one of our new classes, a drone class. Um, you'll have to get approval from the aerospace instructor and in almost all cases it requires taking aerospace science first. Remember, you need 22 credits to graduate. If you passed all of your classes last semester, you either got three or three and a half credits. By the end of this year, you will get six or seven. With those 22 credits, you need four years of English, four years of math, three years of science, three years of social studies, just to name a few, and your counselor can help you with that as well. Don't forget, talk with your teachers that you have right now, talk with your advisors, talk with your parents. Um, you want to get as much information as you can and get as much help as you can to make good decisions for next year. It's a big deal picking classes to make sure that you're on the right track and are doing what you want. Um, anybody on staff, me, the assistant principals, Mr. Goliford, also happy to help you with the course registration process. Last but certainly not least, do not lose this document. Do not lose this document. Um, we want you to staple it to your planner, tape it to something, put it somewhere safe. Um, you are going to eventually bring this to your counselor and they're going to need to see uh, signatures on there to put you in the classes that you want to put, uh, that you want to be in. Um, if you have any questions, again, please ask an advisor for help. Um, we hope that you um, make wise decisions and we hope that you are getting the classes that you want to be in and need to be in and should be in. Um, thank you for taking this process very seriously and have a good day.